Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Another cold steel gear review. Uh, doing my longer cold steel items first, uh, as you may have figured out. This time on the African Walking Stick by Cold Steel. This is one heck of a walking stick. Great stuff for cheap. 100% um, solid polypropylene, the whole length of it. Uh, it is about 37 inches overall from the top of this geodesic dome head to the tip down here. Uh, this thing has almost no flex to it with normal strength, uh, though you can go online and see some reviews of running this thing over and stepping on it and everything else and trying to bend it around. It may warp slightly, but you can just warp it right back into shape. It's about as indestructible as anything you're ever going to find. Um, you say, a walking stick. Why in the world would I carry a walking stick other than out in the woods, something like that? Well, for a defensive tool, walking sticks have been used for centuries, if not thousands of years as defensive tools, and tend to be unassuming. If you're walking up and down the street with a uh, machete on your hip or a K-bar or something like that, somebody's probably going to take notice of that in most places, even here in South Carolina. Maybe not in Arizona and Texas. Those are probably okay out there. But uh, generally, somebody walking around with a walking stick is generally going to be ignored and just not processed. Your brain's just going to filter that right out. Uh, I'll tell you what, this thing is a beast for self-defense. This geodesic dome here, style head, pentagons and hexagons across the entire head of it. It's uh, about uh, two and three quarters inches across. This thing is solid. I'm not going to beat my table here because uh, I don't want to leave a dent, but there's a little slight tap there. Uh, this thing is solid. You can swing this thing like a beast. Um, will it hit quite as much as the uh, Polypropylene indestructible bat? No, but again, walking around with that bat over your shoulder is going to attract a lot more attention. This thing, good grip. Uh, you've got this, um, I don't know what I'd call it, uh, ridging, I guess, along the entire length of this thing so you can grab it at any point and get a good firm purchase. Um, the tip of it is about a uh, little over an inch wide at the base here. Now, one thing I do want to comment about this, that's all polypropylene. This comes as a solid polypropylene piece. Uh, that tip is only useful for field use, uh, off-road type work. Um, if you're in the woods, walking in grass, whatnot, this thing's going to be great. But uh, what you would really need to do to this, and I have, and I already pulled it off just to show you the original. You need one of those little cane butt pad things that go on at the end of the, this thing. Um, get those in black, of course. This is post your standard white that you see in the old folks home. If you're going to carry this around town, anything on rock, anything, you're going to need something a little grippier here on the bottom because this thing's just too slippery on uh, standard pavement, anything like that. Uh, you're just going to, if you actually have to use it as a walking stick, uh, it's going to lose its purchase. But again, that's about a 50 cent fix there for this thing. Uh, otherwise, it's great. Um, you got a little cutout here. If you can see that right there, which I think may be perfect to attach a bit of a, a handhold, something like that. If you want to wrap some quarters around it and have a little lanyard so that uh, you're not just walking around with this. You've got it around your wrist. So if you had to pick it up and whack somebody with this end of it, uh, you can get the job done fairly easily. You won't drop it, things like that. Um, as I said before, this thing is 37 inches long. It is very lightweight, though very dense, at about 25.3 ounces per the website. Um, again, solid polypropylene and they do mean solid. Uh, this thing is a beast. Uh, you can of course see the uh, molding little lines there. Don't know if you can see that on the web cam there but um, well made. Very well made. Um, very much worth the pickup. Not as pretty as a blackthorn or anything like that but perfectly functional. You're buying this thing for function. Uh, find it for about 25 to 30 bucks very reasonably priced compared to other type walking canes and all that. The geodesic dome head here actually provides a lot of good grip when you're walking with it, even though you're used to a, a more elongated cane, something like that, like, like my grandfather would have used. Uh, this would get the job done. Uh, if I was a little old lady, something like that, would I carry one of these? Eh, probably not, but uh, if I'm walking out in the woods, something like this, this is a fantastic addition uh, just to have with you, beat off dogs or any other type of uh, varmints, human or otherwise, that you may run into. This will get the job done. This is a portable mace, in my opinion. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, 25 bucks, you can't beat it. The Cold Steel African Walking Stick. Indie Prepper, out.